Hey guys, welcome back to Little Boy Customs. Today, hopefully, we get the cab off, but the main thing that we're going to work on is getting the dash back out of the truck. Alright, so as you can see, we have the carpet, the seats, all that taken out. I need to get all of this wiring here taken out of the... Uh, truck and then we're going to try and get this uh well we are going to get the dash out um the other thing that i want to do is get the uh cab unwelded and taken apart but before we can do that i want to try to fix this right here uh i left this all hooked up to the cab and everything and the cab's still welded on so the main reason why is because i want to try to pull this back out and make it look better Alright guys, what you're looking at here is the steering wheel. This one here has the uh, radio play buttons, the uh, cruise control and all that good stuff on it as well. So, in order to get this disconnected, I'm dropping the dash itself. I mean, correction, I'm dropping the steering wheel itself, but I'm going to take the dash out and leave the steering wheel in place. In order to do that, you'll have to disconnect a couple of wires on the bottom side before you even unbolt anything. All these wires here, you'll have to disconnect those. Make sure you label everything. And then, there is a junction box. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Right here that bolts into the side of the steering column and then if you see this part right here the first time I took this apart I broke this because I couldn't figure out how to unhook the wire coming into the back of it I thought the whole black piece right here came off that is not the case so here is the black piece that goes into it Let's see if I can get a better angle on it right there pull this part here up and it should pop right out. And then we'll still need to take this apart because there's some wires running up inside there. And then of course there is a vacuum hose that runs from that vacuum hose there up to this. And it is attached to the side of the dash right there. So you'll have to unhook that. It's just a little plastic grommet type thing that hooks it up to the metal piece here this metal piece will come out with the dash so make sure to unhook that the other part is down here unhook all three of those I think there's three yeah there's three of them there and then um, that pretty much takes care of all the wiring going to the back side of the car for the most part there is still another piece right here and that we have to unhook from it well, look at here. Don't want to be optimistic or anything, but we got the dash out. I'm going to leave this box here in for right now. Steering wheel is going to be left in. I don't think I need to move either one of those in order to cut this off. Last time I left them both in there, and as you can see, I did catch it on fire right down there. Hope that don't happen again, but I'm going to try and do it again without taking that out. Now... I'm not sure if I've ever said this before, but I think I have. That is one of the heaviest dashes I've ever pulled out of a car. I don't know why Ford decided to make them so heavy, but that is a heavy dash. I'm not exactly sure why it's so heavy, because most of it's plastic on the inside, other than this metal bracket that's right there that runs all the way across. But that is by far one of the heaviest dashes I've ever pulled out. 
highly recommend two people doing that. If you don't have two people like I don't, then you're going to have to manhandle it and be prepared. That thing's heavy. Over here, you're going to have the wiring harness. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then you may not know. If you're an OG subscriber, then you know that's the wiring harness that runs behind the dash. There's two wiring harnesses behind the dash. One up against the firewall and then the other one that's actually attached to the dash. But we got both of those out. We're just about ready to start cutting the cab back off. more of a chore than what uh, it was whenever I was just trying to get it off the truck original frame but plasma cutter came in handy and I did leave this down here I'll probably cut it completely off and uh, took this patch panel here completely off I'll do the same on the other side uh, so we'll just have to clean all this up right here even up through here and uh, get ready to mount the new cab back on. But old cab's off. Kind of bittersweet. Got the uh, dash removed out of the car. Got the wiring harness removed out of the car. Left the steering wheel. Left the uh, blower AC uh, heater components underneath the dash for right now um, and we got the cab off I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that it's kind of bittersweet for me uh, we were so close to finishing that truck uh, the only thing we had left to do on it was cut the bed down mount it and a uh, little odd and in things but that was about it so it's kind of bittersweet but uh, that truck was gonna be finished in 2020 of course that got derailed uh, as many things did in 2020, that's okay. Uh, we got us a new cab, and we're going to build this truck. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. It is free, uh, and it does help out me personally a lot to keep making videos like this. Uh, Till next time, be safe.